How do I feel about this being my first girl? Well, I'm very excited. I already have two little boys, so, you know, I always wanted a little girl, a little mini-me, a little best friend, and I'm finally receiving that, so I'm so excited. How do I feel about it being my first child? At the age I'm at now, 36 years old, my birthday was just a couple days ago. I've been waiting for this day for a long time, so with all my years of experience and everything I've been through, I'm pretty sure I'll step up and play the role pretty well. Was this pregnancy different from my other two? I can definitely say this pregnancy was different. Of course, her dad has been there from day one, from doctor's appointments, He's a truck driver, he goes in different places, he sees something, he's sending me a picture like, oh, I'm getting this for my baby girl, so definitely different. First thing I would like to teach my daughter would definitely be respect. Respect goes a long way, it can get you a long way in the world. I, this is my first child, definitely my first daughter, so there's no rule book for how I have to raise her. So, I mean, it's pretty much just learn and go. The only thing I can say is I promise to do the best I can. What feature of you would you like your child to have? Um, what feature? Um, I would say my height. That way she can take it far, far sports. If she want to play basketball, she want to be a cheerleader, volleyball, she'll have my height because I'm, I'm a tall girl. <laughs> <laughs> what feature would I like my daughter to have? I would definitely say got to be my heart. My heart is one of the biggest things on me. And of course, she, I know she's going to be tall. Me and Ebony, we both tall. She's going to be tall, so <laughs> that's a given. But as long as she has my heart, she'll be good. In the middle of the night, who's going to be the first one to get up with the baby? Um, who will be the first one to get up? I would say if he's not working over the road, I'm going to give a little nod when she start crying, and he'll be the first one to get up, definitely. <laughs> If I'm home, I'm definitely going to be the first one to get up and get her. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> She's going to be a spoiled little girl, I tell you. If you can hear us in there, my name is Shahana, Auntie Booby, because they definitely don't call me by my real name. So I just wanted to say we can't wait to welcome you into the world. I'm your auntie, and I'm so proud to be your auntie. We can already tell that you're going to be an energetic little girl. Thanks to all those kids your mama has let me know about. Every person in this room has a unique gift to share with you throughout your life. You un undoubtedly have many unique gifts to impart on us as well. We can't wait to see your beautiful face and hold your tiny hands. Welcome to the world, our family, and your new home with your parents, Dion and your mom, Abby. We love you, girl. We love you in there. <laughs> I just want to, hey look, I want to thank everybody for coming out, man. Everybody for coming out. Everybody in this building, 
you know, whether it's on Ebony's side or my side, you know, I pretty got I got a pretty good support system. Yeah, hey. And that's 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 what it's all about, man. You gotta have a, you gotta have a support system, man, when it comes to a child. February twenty third, I'm gonna be celebrating another birthday. Baby Nevaeh, man. If y'all see her name up here, Leon and Ebony celebrating Baby Nevaeh. That's what we celebrating. Come on, Ebony. Come on, Ebony. Come on, woman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a lot of y'all don't know, man, but me and Ebony, boy, me and Ebony, we, we fight, boy. We fight like cats and dogs, boy. Me and Ebony, we fight. <laughs> but if you ask me, you if you ask me if it's all worth it, you know it's all worth it, man, because I got baby in the van coming out. She she coming soon, man, just like a movie. It's like I've been waiting these whole nine months for baby in the van to come home, man. <laughs> I'm ready for my baby, man. And I tell y'all this, man. I don't know how to do a lot of things. A lot of things. It ain't no rule book on life. You just gotta figure stuff out as it goes. Since Ebony came home and told me she was praying, boy, I've been shopping. I've been shopping, man. I can't help it. I just can't help it. If I go to Walmart, if I go to anywhere, if I see something for babies, I'm probably gonna buy it, man. I ain't going too far. Cause I'm gonna be home on that Tuesday and that Wednesday morning. Me and Ed, we're going to the hospital. I think we got to be there at 8 o'clock. And we're going to be ready for baby in the van. Hey, we ready for my baby. Amen. I appreciate everybody for coming out here, man. Everybody. A lot more people than I expected. But like I said, that shows me a support system. So I shout out everybody in this building, man. Everybody, man. You from Roseburg, Littleton, Southern Dunn. Las Vegas, shout out my dad, man, shout out my dad. Anybody, man, shout out my mama, Juanita Melvin, boy, that's my mama right there. Oh, hey, that's my grandma, man. My grandma don't play. Hey, I used, I, used to think, I used to think my mama was so mean when I was in high school, man. I used to think my mama was so mean, but, but as I got older, I realized my mama, she just wanted to look out for my best interests. Yes, I want to take this time out, give a shout out to my friends, KJ, Ray, hey, that's my battle buddy right there. I got my buddy Justin, my buddy Tevin, my buddy Dan Dan. Who else in here? I can't see everybody. everybody. I can't see everybody. My Aunt Roxanne, my Aunt Yonder, my cousin Courtney, my dad, my stepmom. Hey, I just want y'all to come and, hey, put it up one time. Put it up one time for Baby Nouvelle. Put it up one time. Baby Nouvelle, man. February 23rd. She is coming.